in the heart of Scandinavia, amidst the stunning beauty of Sweden, lives a man who embodies the very essence of manliness. They say he has hands of steel and a heart of gold. Whenever he swims, dolphins appear. He can speak braille. He once parallel a park at the train. Meet Philip Sandelin, Sweden's manliest man. He hails from a land where the spirit of nature and resilience flows through the veins of its people. Those who know him give such stunning accounts it defies reality. Here are but a few. His weapon of choice is a padded stick to let his enemies live to learn from their mistake. Some say it is mercy, while others say it is a clever form of fetch and release. Philip does not sleep. He waits. He once beat up his shadow because it was following too close. It now stands 15 feet behind him. Philip taught me there is more to plants than just smoking them. The dude's a savage. The meals he and his family made were fit for a king. He showed the world that the effort you put in the kitchen is what matters, not the name of the food. Naming meatballs after Sweden does make meat better. It just makes cooking worse. He has been known to freely control the length of his beard, making it grow or shrink to his liking. Before Philip, I only know how to lift things up and put them down. He opened my eyes to the beauty of nature and the traffic lights are for everyone. I never got the better of him, though he did have great carrots. The tales were so stunning we reached out to Philip's neighbors who witnessed his off-work time. Regrettably, they had not seen Philip or his wife some since a disturbance two nights ago when they had heard what could only be described as a lion eating a hyena. No one knows if another will rise to carry the torch that Philip will pass. We can only hope and pray. Until then, enjoy him while you can.